What's going on YouTube? This is Baboon Bananas bringing you another video here on Apex Legends, the new battle royale game by Respawn Entertainment. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe, leave a like on the videos, uh, drop comments below on all my videos. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start. Uh, in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a deep dive and take a look at all the various legends in the new game. Uh, if you don't know what legends are, essentially they're just all different playable characters. They all look a little bit different, they all play a little bit different, and they all have a little bit of different abilities. Uh, quick summary here, they all have one standard ability that they constantly get, one recharge ability that does various things, and then one superpower. I believe it's called a, uh, a super or whatever it's called in this game. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> so uh, starting off here, we got Bloodhound. Bloodhound's passive ability, so the ability he constantly always has, is Tracker. Essentially what these are is just the enemies that you're following or looking at or looking for or leave little footprints or little, I don't know, these little uh, square things on the map that you can see. And they just tell you like, hey, somebody's been here, somebody slid here, somebody dropped ammo here, somebody dropped a respawn thing here. Uh, just kind of tells you a little bit of insights and it tells you how long ago somebody did that action. Uh, pretty strong if it's used correctly you can use it to track down your enemies essentially he's a tracker he's a hunter so kind of makes sense that he has some certain ability like this uh, after that his tactical ability or his recharge ability is a uh, eye of the all father and what this is is pretty much he sends out a pulse and tells you where enemies are or positioned if they're close by in your proximity um, and kind of says hey somebody was here a certain time ago uh, I'm not sure if he's still here, but he, he was here a couple minutes ago or a couple seconds ago. Uh, so people could have moved. It's not 100% accurate. It's just like, okay. Uh, I would rate it pretty low on the uh, tactical abilities that other characters offer, but it's uh, decent enough. Might scoop you up a kill or two. After that, we got uh, his ultimate. They're called ultimates in this game, and it's called Beast of the Hunt. Essentially, he transforms into the ultimate hunter. He enhances his abilities and senses, allowing him to see cold tracks and move faster. So he runs really quick, and I believe it highlights enemies in red uh, if they're uh, out in the open. Uh, overall, Red Bloodhound, pretty okay. He's not my go-to character, but uh, I probably won't be sharing what my go-to character is in this video. Anyways, um, after that, we got uh, Gibraltar, and Gibraltar is just a big, fatty, fatty samurai-type dude. Um, his passive ability is Gun Shield. Um, aiming down sights, aiming down sights deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire. I know you're probably thinking, wow, that's overpowered, but uh, in reality, it's actually not that strong. Uh, he's got a very big hitbox because he's uh, such a big character, and he, uh, it doesn't block his head, it doesn't block his feet, so you still got plenty to aim for, and the shield breaks relatively quickly. After that, we have a uh, dome protection, is which is tactical ability. Essentially, he throws down a dome shield that blocks attacks for about 15 seconds. It's effective if you've got like a shotgun or a close range weapon or if you need to like pop a shield, pop a, re uh, pop a revive when the enemies are far away. However, it's very, very weak if somebody comes in there and they uh, they ch chuck an arc, arc star or they throw a grenade or they throw something that uh, potentially could blow this thing up from the inside because it like sort of traps everything in a little bubble. It's <clears throat> it's it's okay. Uh, I would rate it higher than the... Uh, than the, the vision pulse that the other guy had. However, uh, it's just pretty, it's okay. After that, he has a ultimate defensive bombardment. This is actually pretty good. I've used it a couple of times now. Essentially, he just throws down a defensive barbar or bombardment ring around you and your team-ish. Um, I, I don't know if I've ever gotten any kills on it, but it, it does do okay. Uh, it just grenades drop down and kind of blows up a little bit. Does a little bit of damage. I believe it does hurt your teammates though also <clears throat> um though i have not tested that out and i have just been told by my teammates that i i've injured them before by doing this defensive bombardment uh after that we got lifeline uh essentially she's the medic of all the characters here in the game her, her passive ability is combat medic she can revive enemies quicker i think 25 percent faster is what it says and while she's reviving she puts down a sort of a protective shield wall that protects you from getting shot out while you're reviving uh, it's it's the I don't think it does a 360 degree shield wall, but it is a pretty strong shield wall and gives you a lot better uh, ability to stay alive while you're picking up your teammate. Uh, then her tactical ability is the DOC Heal Drone, which is the Drone of Compassion. This uh, drone is actually pretty good. You all three of your teammates can hook up to it and you can heal over time. Uh, it does about I think 25% to 50% health depending on how many people are linked up to it, but it can link three people at one time. And it, uh, it'll get you out of a jam, maybe throw it down when you're trying to pop some shield. Um, you got some various tactics you can use with this person. It's it's a pretty strong ability, I would say. 
Uh, after that, you got the care package, which I would rate very high in the early stages of the game. However, it pretty low in the later stages of the game. Essentially, what her ultimate is is she calls a fully dropped, high quality defensive gear care package. Uh, so that's like whether that's a higher tiered armor, higher tiered uh, sights, higher tiered barrels. Um, it, it's all defensive type gear though. It's nothing like she's not gonna drop you a shotgun or a golded out LMG or a golded out sniper rifle. It's just like. Okay, it's very good, I would say, again, in the beginning tiers of the game. Uh, the reason I say it's good then, because you're not maybe you don't have too much loot, you, maybe your loot isn't too good, <clears throat> maybe you're looking for just like a slightly better sight, something along those lines, uh, but it becomes pretty weak in the late game, because by then you generally have something that's pretty decent or fairly okay. Uh, and on top of that, it will kill your teammates if they are standing directly underneath it. I have seen some blooper type things that have happened where I've accidentally killed a teammate or two, uh, I've seen team people kill themselves because they just simply aren't paying attention. On top of that, it also takes a little bit of time to call in and it pings your location for everyone on the map. Uh, so if you're okay with that, then uh, I would say this might be the character to use. After that, we got Pathfinder. Pathfinder I find fairly weak in terms of the uh, all the legends that we have to play with. However, I have used them a couple of times to get out of a jam. His passive uh, ability is Insider Knowledge. I don't know if I've actually ever noticed this i really hope this actually does get a buff or this uh, character does increase some sort of a, get some sort of a buff because his insider knowledge passive is i would say it's probably bottom of the tier bottom of the line in terms of abilities that every character has off the bat um grappling hook is pretty good which is this tactical recharge it charges pretty quickly um and he can kind of jump around the map you can get up a little bit higher uh you can swing sort of um it's it's a uh, fairly decent it, it can be kind of difficult to control i know that sounds weird it doesn't really tell you how much range it has uh and you have to put away your gun i think while you're using it but it will get you out of a jam if you need to get places quicker um after that he's got the zipline gun which <clears throat> i find highly underpowered for uh, only one reason that there's another character that does something similar to this but in a better more advanced way and i'll kind of talk about that here in a second uh, essentially his ultimate is a zipline gun. It doesn't really do anything It just like shoots a zipline from one side to another side or you can shoot it from like one pole to another pole um, It's got a fairly decent range uh, It just takes a little bit to throw up and then uh, you all your guys got a zipline on it and they're all you can get shot at uh, I would say it's only good from uh, for like attaching from a building to another building or like from a low spot to a high spot uh, Which I've seen some uh, I've done some actually personally uh, some maneuvers with it However, I would rate it fairly low-ish compared to the other abilities that are available in the game. Um, after that, we got Wraith. The Wraith is a very strong character, I would say. She's uh, definitely up there. Uh, her passive ability is Voices from the Void. Essentially, she starts talking or saying things when people or danger is nearby, um, which is fairly strong. I, I, I've used her before, and I'm just like, hey, we got people nearby, except nobody knew they were nearby because she's like saying some some voice voices thing uh and it's almost 99 percent accurate i don't think it's ever failed me um then her tactical ability is into the void which is essentially just a disappearing act she activates it and she can disappear for a short period of time i don't think you run any quicker but you can't take damage from bullets or grenades or anything while you're in the void um and then this is the one uh, the ability that kind of puts the zipline to shame which is the dimensional rift essentially you can just link two points exactly like the the zipline but you can't get shot at it's much faster than a zipline and while you're linking the two points she kind of turns invisible and she can uh quickly go behind behind enemies and while you're like in a building she can go behind them and then you can rift in behind them and they don't even know that it's there uh this is a very strong ability for a team and i would highly recommend her being in uh one of your three and i i think in my next video here i'm gonna explain or talk about my top three uh, my go-to squad if I've got two friends or my go-to squad if I'm playing with some other people uh, that I really encourage people to use because it is a great team that works together and I, I will talk about that here in my next video. <clears throat> After that we got uh, Bangalore. Bangalore's ability, her, her passive ability, again another strong character here. We have double time. Essentially what she can do is uh, while she's taking fire, she starts sprinting at a faster rate. So this is good for two, two things. One, you can either A, use her to run up quickly on people especially that paired with her tactical ability which i'll explain here in a minute um she can run up on people quickly get in their face with a nice close range gun a shotgun something along those lines or you can use it in the other way which is to simply run around run away if you're taking a lot of damage or you're taking uh, too much fire from enemies uh her tactical ability again another strong one i uh, my guess is it's probably going to get nerfed 
can uh, because it's considerably stronger. I, I personally think it's considerably stronger than the rest of the uh, abilities here. So she has a smoke launcher. What this does is actually it does a little bit of damage when you shoot it at people. And it is a very thick smoke that's hard to see through. Uh, it's great for your team. You can use it to revi revive teammates. You can use it to get across bridges. You can use it to back up. Um, Again, it's great if you have double time, so you can actually shoot out your smoke a little bit further ahead, start running up, you can take fire, and then you run through your stuff or your smoke really quickly, and you can get really, really close without anybody actually uh, realizing or understanding how close you can get. Uh, lastly, her, her ultimate is just okay. Again, here's just another okay one. Uh, Rolling Thunder. The reason why I say it's okay, uh, I know the, uh, the description says, like, makes it seem like it's great. Essentially, you call an artillery strike that slowly creep, creeps across the landscape. Why I say it's okay is because uh, the uh, it's marked for everyone, your for your whole team, for the enemy teams, for anyone to see. Uh, it shows exactly where this thing's going to go. Um, it tells them, "Hey, like get out of this ring, or you're gonna die, or you're gonna take a lot of damage." Um, and it's just okay. Um, going into the last two characters. I don't own them. Uh, I don't know why this game did this, but for some reason they didn't actually uh, give you all the characters to use. There's two characters here that uh, I simply cannot use because I haven't purchased them yet or I haven't gotten enough of these crafting tools to purchase them. However, I'll talk about them because their abilities are here. Uh, so we have uh, Caustic, and his ability is, uh, hopefully I said his name correctly, hopefully uh, his ability here is uh, Nox Vision, which essentially he can gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas. Not sure how good that is because, again, I haven't used him. I have seen the Nox gas trap. Um, personally, I have not been a fan. Essentially, you can place up to six canisters that release deadly Nox gas when you shoot or trigger enemies. Um, one of my friends has this guy, and he tried him out, and those canisters are very freaking annoying for you, both your friendly team and the enemy team. So if like you're around a canister or like they're around a canister and it gets shot, then it blows up in your face and your whole screen turns like boogers. And honestly, it's, it's kind of a... like. It's very cheeky, and I don't like it at all. I, I've been affected by this once. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it is very fucking annoying when you like are walking around, and then there's, boom, there's a gas trap. Um, after that, we have the Nox Gas Grenade as his ultimate. Again, I've seen somebody use one of these now. Uh, my friend has this character. He threw it, and it kind of just looked like a booger bomb of some sort. Like It was just green, and it was on the map, and it didn't look like it did anything. I didn't see him get any kills with it, and he wasn't in all like, oh! Oh my god this thing's fantastic it was just like whatever i threw a booger bomb no one's gonna go in there because it's fucking green um after that mirage uh i have been killed by this character once um so i, I kind of understand what it does but essentially the passive ability is automatically drop a decoy and cloak for five seconds when you get knocked down so essentially i believe you get knocked down you turn invisible and then your guy he shoots out a decoy to like act like you got quickly revived um kind of deters the enemy from thirsting you out which is uh, something else that I would entirely talk about here in another video, which is thirsting. Um, if you don't know what thirsting is, be sure to check out the next video where I'm going to go in depth about that. Um, and then his tactical video is, or his tactical uh, ability here is psych out. Send out a holographic decoy that confuses enemies. Um, I've seen this. I've, act I've actually shot one of these decoys. They look very, very real compared to like other previous decoys that we've seen in other games. Uh, they look phenomenal. They they play like kind of like a realistic-ish character, and they definitely do psych people out uh, just a little bit. It psyched me out the first time I saw it. I was like, oh, okay, what's going on? Um, and then all of a sudden, I, I realized that I was getting shot at from a different angle. Um, and then finally, his uh, last ability or his ultimate is Vanishing Act. Mirage deploys uh, a team of decoys that distract enemies while he cloaks. Um, never seen this one in action, but I'm guessing based on the description, it's fairly decent. His uh, again, his decoys are pretty good and uh I, again i've never seen him invisible or at least i don't think i've ever seen him invisible because uh he would be invisible anyways guys uh hope that kind of quickly summarizes what all the characters can do in apex legends again if you have not played this game i uh, highly recommend that you check it out it's a great game plays fantastic uh it's great with a couple of friends uh till next time guys i'm gonna go ahead and conclude this video take care see you next time be sure to subscribe I'm out.